this is a uh, quick update on my marine tank um, it's been up and running for about two weeks roughly um, I've had the tank sitting in my garage for quite a while um, but I've just decided to set it up I'll move the TV put the TV on the wall so freed up a bit of space to put the tank in the front room uh, but it's a, a four foot uh, total water volumes uh, just over 400 litres um, yeah and it's been doing really well um, I'm running a three foot sump underneath um, I'll give you a quick run through um, I've got the same skimmer that my brother had uh, instant ocean skim 800 um, and to have it in a sump it took a little bit of tweaking, but I, I've got there, and this is the skim after a day. So it's uh, it's pulling out some gunk, which is cool, and the more it's pulling out, the darker it's getting. Um, so yeah, that's doing really well. I did all the plumbing myself, got all the plumbing from Coral Culture, uh, with a, a ball valve. Um, I don't know, I've got a full, on where the ball valve is, I've got a full siphon on there. And then this other one on the right hand side that's just skimming the surface of the water and that's going into a uh, I think it's a 150 or 200 micron uh, filter sock um, I built the weir uh, myself I got some glass from the, the glazing company then I covered it in black acrylic um, needs a bit of a clean I had a bit of a I had to drain the tank I, basically I built the weir and uh, I made it too tall. So when the. Uh, oh, sorry. You alright, Tom? Um, yeah, so basically I built the weir too tall. So when I had the wave mode on, um, it was. The, this brace was under water and it was just. it was way too high. So yeah, as you can see, hopefully down there, pipe on the left hand side that's got a 90 on it, that's got a full siphon, and then this one here is just skimming. And it's pretty silent, you can't really hear it at all. Um, I've got this power head, I've heard a lot of reviews. Um, a Jebu, I've heard a lot of reviews on this on different forums and stuff, so I decided to get it. Um, Charterhouse Aquatics, got it from there. It can push 8,000 litres um, of water, and I've just basically got it on full. Um, I think the only possible negative is that the nozzles quite narrow so you get quite a directional uh, flow but I've got it on uh, a mode called else mode which is kind of like a reef mode it, it ramps up and down and maintains a small uh, flow and then goes fast again I'm also running a uh, Vortec pump uh, I love this because the the flow is so wide it, um, and very powerful probably not as powerful as the, the Jebu one um, but the flow pattern is so wide and the different um, uh, like reef mode and lagoon mode and uh, the wave um, creation on it is it's really really good uh, I've basically still got all my same stock but I went out the weekend and got a fox face rabbit fish um, it's a cousin of the surgeon fish uh, tangs and it's venomous it's got, I don't know if you can see I might it's dorsal fins um, they flare up and they've got a venom and someone said it's like a bee sting but a hundred times worse um, but they, they're very docile very friendly and they only use it as defense if they're getting attacked um, but they're just absolutely beautiful um, this is my trachophilia which has been knocked over by my goby um, still got some mushrooms and they're still kind of acclimating to my light because I this tank came with T5s but I wanted to use LEDs so I got uh, an Evergrow uh, IT280 um, it, it's more than capable of powering like the width of a four foot tank um, I've got it on custom mode at the moment and I'm only running the channels at 60% and that's possibly a bit too much um, so I might dial it back to like 50 but it's completely 
uh, customizable and the time that it ramps up slowly throughout the day and then slowly throughout the night and this this uh, beautiful it's a full um, spectrum it's got uh, reds greens uh, like yellows whites blue it's just got every spectrum and the, the tank looks amazing for it um, I've really really chuffed with it uh, what else is there um, my return pump I'm using the uh, based on people's reviews again the uh, Jabu I hope that's how you pronounce it um, the Jabu DC6000 and that was from the Charter House as well and just do that it's a uh, obviously DC it's a controllable pump and it's got really clever electronics if it runs out of water it will stop um, it ramps up slowly um, it's got a feed mode um, you might be able to see that this is the panel here I'm running this system at around 4,000 liters per hour turnover through my sump um, this is for the power head and obviously that one is for the, the Vortec pump uh, I'm running a refugium this light here is a I think it's a 6,000 Kelvin LED light which I'm, I'm growing uh, Kato Morpha um, it's supposed to be the best and this this is lit 24-7 uh, I'm not doing the reverse apparently you get better uh, maintain a better pH um, when you run it 24-7 um, obviously my auto top off uh, this is my running level this is my uh, level when the system's turned off if I have a power outage um, I've got a salinity and pH probe I really wanted to keep an eye on my uh, pH really my pH swings and it seems to be like 8.1 5 to 8.2 and that's how it sits 24-7 uh, which is good uh, salinity is there as well and they're the probes and this here is my STC 1000 temperature controller and um, obviously it heats and cools and does a really good job the the probe for this you can see kind of going across horizontally and that is in my weir at the top so it uh, monitors the temperature in the tank and not so much the sump um, I think that's pretty much it. That with the the tank here, uh, it had a another kind of bit of wood going across. I had to take that out, so I had a uh, piece of stainless steel. Okay, done. Sorry, let's let it go. Um, I had a bit of stainless steel made up, and a bit of stainless steel to support the tank. Um, this here I'm going to fit today, I've already got a six way up here, but I'm going to fit this uh, six way up on the wall, uh, drill some holes and fit that up there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so, so chuffed uh, with it. The tank is doing really well, um, hopefully when I get paid on Friday, because I've just spent quite a lot of money on the lights and uh, pumps and whatever. But uh, I'm hoping this skimmer, it seems to be doing its I mean you can see just since I've been talking it's been pulling out some tack. So yeah, um, really chuff with it. And uh, hopefully I just get I've noticed on the sand I've I've used uh, three mil coral sand this time as opposed to uh, live sand like the fine stuff because I was noticing with these power heads um, it was just going everywhere, so powerful. Um, including the turnover of this tank an hour. Is about 50 times turnover so there's so much flow going through it the sand was just going everywhere so I decided to get coral sand I used about a pint or two of my old live sand in the other tank just to seed it and the same as uh, with a sump I used that on there so yeah um, it's all going well hopefully I'll give you some updates when I get some more fish and some corals and stuff and uh, start to develop it but um, my nitrates are like hardly detectable I and mean, possibly one uh, ammonia zero which is good I've 
put the the rock in straight away. There was no like die off. It was just straight from the other tank into this. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's doing really well. Um, yeah, hopefully at the weekend I get paid this Friday, so hopefully I'll get some some other little goodies and some fish and corals and stuff and uh, see how we go. Uh, if you've got any questions about the tank and how I did the plumbing, uh, feel free to ask me and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Laters.